I've been experimenting with sculpturing live food for fish and newts on a land platform built in my aquarium. Providing live food is essential for eastern newts and fish also enjoy eating live food more than any other food. Culturing live food in the same aquarium with fish and newts is the only way of making self-feeding sustaining aquariums. Aquariums without water changes, no filters, no air pumps. It allows me to go on weeks-long vacations with no one watching after my aquariums. Please check my previous videos for more details about do-it-yourself land platforms I tried. After testing the land platform with two parts, I removed one part to make space for growing more floating plants. That's another interesting project I hope to share with you in future videos. The remaining platform spreading above one half of the water surface proves to be sufficient for maintaining populations of terrestrial creatures. I made a platform for culturing mix of terrestrial and aquatic creatures shortly after releasing my eastern newts back to their natural home. White and silver springtails enjoy the high humidity setup with water flow under the mosses. The two parts platform provides a lot of space for checking different mosses suitability at the same time. Not all mosses grow the same in constantly high humidity. It's also something to talk about in future videos. I've been successfully culturing scots in all my sustaining aquariums with and without fish. Scots are the best live food for culturing in aquariums with fish. Please check my previous videos for more details on this setup involving a water pump. Using a water pump is optional for this purpose. Here you can see the water input. It's possible to make platforms for culturing scuds and some other aquatic creatures in aquariums without use of water pumps. I have two projects in progress utilizing different approaches for achieving the same results without use of pumps. Again, I will share more details about it in future videos. The terrestrial mosses growing on the platform look very interesting in different color light. Also, I want to point out that ramshorn snails found their way on the platform without my help. Here you can see one snail. This moss has been growing very well in high humidity and fully submerged under water. It has a very pleasant appearance and grows fast. I am removing one part of the platform. The gravel works great for holding moss in place on the platform. I moved all the nice grown moss from the bottom platform to the top platform. And uh, that is how the aquarium looks like with just one platform. Pretty cool it is. I will give it a couple more months for testing. After that I will remove the platform to make space for running a bunch of new experiments in this 29 gallon tank. Have fun and happy aquariums!